Okay, so today's tomato review is going to be on the Shimmage Hollow Stuffing Tomato. Okay, so let's take a closer look at the tomato. Let me zoom you out. And here's the inside of it. As you can see, this is a hollow tomato. And the seeds are not attached to the rind. That's just the nature of the tomato. It doesn't mean anything whether the tomato is heirloom or not going to taste good or anything. That is just the nature of this tomato. I had just recently did a review on the Dochua hollow stuffing tomato. And this is basically the same thing, except this is a striped version of it. As you can see, it's, it's very striped. Let me turn up the lighting. That's what it looks like. And as far as seeing wilding in a rind, I don't really see too much wilding, but guys, this is straight out a heirloom tomato. This is not something you're going to buy in a store. Uh, you'd be lucky if you could even find seeds for this online. So I cut this one in half just to show you what the inside looks like. Now it's a bi-chambered tomato or it could be sometimes three lobes. I know one or two of these have three lobes on them. I've had these before where they're absolutely enormous. They're like maybe twice the size of what you've seen here. So picture something like that long and just huge. I've had these tomatoes get absolutely huge. Um, they hold their shape well. They don't ripen to the point where they rot right away as soon as they start getting ripe. Like you only got a day or two once a tomato ripens to do something with it before it rots. Uh, these will hang on a vine for a while before that happens unless insects bite into it. Once an insect bites into your tomato, it, that's it. It's over. It's just going to start rotting from that point on. It's just you have to do something with it. But, as you can see, it's just a gorgeous looking hollow stuffing tomato. And I'm going to cut this one open, and I'm going to show you, again, how you can core it and pull a core out. And you can use this just like you would stuff a stuffed pepper. But I just want to finish with the inside of this, and then we'll, do a we'll core that one, and then we'll do a taste test. But that's what they generally look like on the inside. It's not a, considered a pepper tomato because it doesn't look like a pepper when you cut it in half. But you can still stuff this tomato. You can definitely stuff it. Okay, so quite a beautiful tomato. So let's see if we could core this one for you the same way as I done in the past. Now, you don't have to get rid of the top of the tomato. You can keep this top and put it back. You just want to peel it back a little bit, right? And then there's these ribs. See where these folds are in the tomato? See those folds right here? Okay, see that? That's where the ribs are. You kind of want to just get your knife in there and just kind of etch it down a little bit. You know, just get it in there. You want to get it, you want to try to get as much of that as you can. Don't hurt yourself doing it. And just pull it out. And there you go. You see how it came out? Isn't that a beautiful core? See how easy that came out? And then you could cut that core off if you want. Stuff this full of meat and, and whatever, seafood if you like. And then just put the core back on top and serve it that way. And you could cook it in the stove. Or you could do like I said in my other video. Where you can just stuff it with meat. You can make it high. You can put chili, chili and beans in there. And put a couple of tortilla chips in that. Or you could put sour cream and... You know, put your, your like a taco mix in here, fill it up with a nice thick taco mix and uh, mix some beans with that. You don't want to just have the taco by itself, but mix some beans, put some tortilla, tortilla chips, some little sour cream on that, some cheddar cheese, sprinkle it up. Or you can put, like I said, you can cook a portobello mushroom and make the base, fill it, and then put the portobello right on top. Um, I don't know how many people have ever had portobello mushrooms, but... As you can see it on the inside of this thing, see how hollow that is? That's a great stuffing tomato right there. Beautiful. That's, that is made to stuff. But that's, again, that's really all you could do with these tomatoes. You can't really, 
I'm going to taste test that half right there for you just to give you an idea what it tastes like. But again, you, you eat these tomatoes and they're just really neutral in flavor. There's really no flavor to the outside. Now let me see if this one has any flavor to the rind. There's nothing in that. I'm not stuffing this tomato. This is just for the review. And uh, let's give it a taste and see what it tastes like. Okay, skins are thick. Flavor is very neutral. No sweetness, no tanginess. Just neutral, very slight tomato taste. Very, very slight tomato taste. That's it. And that's very slight. I'm talking like a 1 to 100 tomato strength taste-wise. Like maybe a 10 on there. If that. A 5. It's like so low you can't even taste it. But you can't taste something. Most of that might be even coming from the skin. Very neutral in flavor. You could put anything you want inside of this tomato and it'll work fine. It's not the kind of a tomato that's going to offset whatever it is you made. You're not even going to taste this tomato. But it would definitely make an interesting table piece for sure, without any doubt about that. So that's without the seeds. Now I got that little piece there I'm going to eat with the seeds and I'll give you an idea what that tastes like. The seeds add a, a new level of tartness to it. And the neutral flavor, which I guess you would kind of want to say sweet, a little bit of sweetness in there, kind of offsets that tartness, so it works together pretty good. But it is, it, the seeds really make it tarty, very, very tarty flavor. It's going to change your, your palate quite a bit, just the seeds alone. If you plan on using this with the seeds for whatever kind of cooking you're going to do with it, it the seeds are going to make it tarty. If you remove the seeds, the flavor of the tomato itself is just going to be very neutral. But it has a very tangy flavor. It works pretty good. I mean, I, I'm not going to say it's overwhelmingly tarty or tarty like soury like a lemon. It's not that kind of tartness. But it has like a nice tomato tangy flavor to it, which is nice. And it's not overwhelming. But there's really not much sweetness. Sweetness is probably 10 or less. That's how low it is. But the tartiness is also not that high. Let me finish this. And the tartiness is also not that high. The tardiness is probably like a 20, and it's a nice tardiness. It works well with the tomato, and the flavor comes and goes quick. A little bit of that tardiness hangs around at the back of your tongue a little bit, and then that eventually wears off, and it's not much to it. Again, there's, you don't really have a lot of applications to apply to this tomato. I mean, I can't think of a whole lot of things. You ain't making sauce with it. You could probably add it to salad, or if you're going to make like a salsa with regular tomatoes, you want to throw one or two of them in there to thicken it up a little bit. Yeah, you could probably do that. That won't hurt. But there's not a whole lot of things you can do with this other than stuffing it like a pepper. Like I said, the flavor on this is very neutral in general. The seeds is the only thing that gives it any kind of life, really. Outside of that, it's really plain. So... I'm not sure what else to say about it. Uh, rating the tomato for taste and everything else, I'm going to rate it for one being the highest. I'm going to rate it like a four. It was really, again, it's not the best tasting thing in the world. It doesn't hit me at all those levels and all. So it's not a real high rating. But for functionality, I'm going to put it at like a three because you can stuff this tomato, which is a very, very interesting attribute to the tomato. It's not like any other tomato you're going to be able to do that with. You really can't pull that off with any other tomato. This is These hollow tomatoes are really the only thing you can get away with. Alright, so I'm going to kind of give it a dual rating there and say for, for uh, usage wise and versatility of the tomato, this is going to rate like a number three, one being the highest, and then four for the taste and, and just texture and everything and, and that's about it. Outside of that, I really can't elaborate too much more on this tomato, but it's still a beautiful tomato. You can put these in a basket on your table and let your guests look at it and just let them kind of wonder, like, what is that? And you could throw it in, like, cut it into, you know, quarter pieces and stick that in the salad, maybe. You know, if you're serving a salad, too, you know, you can add this to the salad. It's not going to make the salad taste bad. It's just it's going to be kind of flavorless number one and number two it's going to have thicker skins on it which kind of I don't really care for that though I will say even with the thicker skins 
it, they're chewing up pretty nicely. So I really can't complain about the thicker skins. But again, you know, that's the kind of tomato it is. You're just going to have to grow this and use it based on knowing that it's a hollow tomato. So, and again, these tomatoes can get quite big. I've had these things get huge. So give them a grow. Give them, a, you know, a try. You might like them. Try them to your cooking. You might like to add that to your your family's meals and uh, see what your, your family says about it once they try it. All right, so that was my tomato review for the Schmidt Schimmage Striped Hollow Stuffing Tomato. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe, and I will see you on the next one.